plus size t-shirt clothing haul for less than $200. Keep watching. Hey guys, um, so for those that don't know, I previously was teaching in a community where I could wear sweatpants and t-shirts and hoodies and have no issue. I recently got hired onto a school that business casual is the dress code <laughs> more formal than what it was at the last community. So, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to move you off the stuff. Um, so I did have to get some clothing. Most of this is from Value Village. Um, and then I did get some stuff from Old Navy and Pennington's. Um, so I'll tell you what I got from there as I show it and then prices for it. So two things I'm not going to show you. I got two pairs of dress pants. One was from, um, Old Navy, which with shipping, I paid for express shipping and stuff online because I needed it here before I move. So that was $50. And then I did get a pair of dress pants, black dress pants from Value Village. So I'm going to show you those. They're black dress pants. Um, and then I had a pair of dress pants, black dress pants from before. And I also have like two different outfits that I'm not going to show you that I've had for a while. One is just, I've shown them in like previous vlogs somewhere, but one's just a tank top with a blue sweater that I tend to wear at interviews. And then the other one's just a blue shirt, like three quarters. I think it's called like, I'm trying to see what you would call it. Like a peasant, peasant blouse. I don't know. But anyway, so let's get started. So this is from Value Village. This, a lot of this stuff has like Pennington's labels on it. I don't know if they have Pennington's in the States, but in Canada it's a plus size, um, plus size clothing store. Um, and all the clothes I got, this ended up being less than $200. So, um, got this shirt here. I have tattoos and I'm not sure if I have to hide them or not. So I tried to get a variety of short sleeve stuff that I can wear something over it just in case. Um, as well as some long sleeve stuff that I wouldn't have to wear anything over. Um, I got this tank top here. Um, the majority of my tattoos I can hide it easily. It's just the one on my art forearm here that's a little harder. So this blouse here, t tank top blouse thingy. This one here. This is all from Value Village still. Watch out, Taylor. She's like. There's clothes, freshly washed clothes. Um, this sweater is from Value Village. I really like it. I can wear that with a lot of stuff. A lot of purples and blues and blacks. This tends to be what I wear. This, it's like a, I don't think it's showing up in the video very well, but it's like a blouse material. So it's like a more dressy, dressy shirt. This black one here. And then this is from Old Navy and is like a lint collector. Oh, you guys can't see how horrible it is on camera. But um, yeah, I washed it um, with all my other stuff and it's like collecting lint already. But anyway, this was from Old Navy. It is just a really long cardigan, um, but long sleeve and it's black. So I really like this. This was $20. It was half price. Um, but this is like going to be my go-to cover up. Thing. like anytime I have any of the tank tops or anything like that this is just gonna go over top of it so we got that um, this was one I got at Old Navy as well um, it's a little big but um, I really like it it was $20 um, because it was an online only sale thing that someone had them return to the store and when they do that they can't sell it at full price so it becomes damaged and then because it's online exclusive so 50% off and it's just, it's like a sweater, but it only has like short sleeves. I don't know if you guys can see. Like it's more like a, I guess like a poncho. Um, but I like it because I can wear it with some of my long sleeve shirts that I'll show you. And it makes it look, look a lot more dressed up. A lot more professional. Um, I probably won't wear this like at all, except for maybe like their graduation stuff. But it's a jacket. Black jacket. And then. Maybe they're falling off the hangers. This green shirt. I also have like a black sweater, like a short sleeve three quarter sweater too, that I can wear with a lot of the stuff if it's okay for my tattoos to show. Um, most places won't have a problem. This is one I got from Pennington's that was twenty dollars um, on sale. So it's a long sleeve shirt, and this is kind of what I meant with wearing it with the other shirt over top because it just makes it look a little more professional. 
And then last but not least, this one here as well was from Pennington's for $20. So again, just long sleeve shirt. Um, I really like this one. I'll have to wear a tank top underneath it because it dips kind of low, but I really like it. So pretty much the stuff I was looking for was stuff that would not wrinkle and I wouldn't have to iron, stuff that I could easily hand wash so it wasn't thick. I'd rather wear a bunch of layers for things and then um, then to have stuff that's thick because I want to hand wash the majority of my stuff. I only want to go to the laundromat like once every other week preferably and that's more going to be for towels and bedding and stuff like that. I really don't want to have to go and wash clothes all the time. I have like a scrubber wash bag thing so I'm hoping to use that as much as possible. I've used it in the past when camping. I like to pack light so <laughs> I pack like two or three outfits and then just hand wash them. So that's kind of what I'm hoping with this stuff is I can hand wash the majority of it. Um, I was uh, wanting stuff that I could coordinate with multiple things. Stuff that would go fine with black pants, black sweaters. I didn't want to have too many things that I couldn't mix and match. Um, I'm not doing a capsule wardrobe obviously uh, because I think I have more than 30 items or whatever the requirement is. But I like the, the ability to mix and match different things. Um, so that's kind of what I was looking for. So stuff that was dry quickly, stuff that I could mix and match, um, and stuff that obviously was professional enough but wouldn't wrinkle and I could actually move in it since I'm teaching kindergarten. So anyway, I hope that helps you see a couple of things that I got. Um, this whole thing was all my new stuff that I bought. Value Village was the majority of that. So when all said and done, I spent around $200 um, between Old Navy, Pennington's, and Value Village. Value Village was definitely the winner. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys soon. Bye, guys.